kindergartners. Today we will be making a magic carpet collage. Because it's a collage, you know that means we need scissors, we need glue, you will need a pencil, you will need some kind of a rectangle to trace. I have a book, a book would work perfectly, and you will need two different colors of paper. You can use construction paper if you have it, you can use painted paper if you made painted paper. You can use whatever you have in your recycle bin. I have a white sheet of just regular old drawing paper and I have a brown paper bag that was in my recycle bin. So let's get started. All right, kindergartners. So I cut a big chunk off of my paper bag and I have my white drawing paper. I'm just going to stack those on top of each other. And I'm going to put my book on top of that stack. I'm going to use my pencil and trace all the way around. Try to hold it still with your other hand so it's not squiggling around on you. If it's really misbehaving and it won't stay still, you can ask mom or dad or whatever grown up is there helping you to hold it while you trace. Okay, I've got it traced. So now I'm gonna keep my two papers, one on top of the other, and I'm gonna cut them together. I'm gonna try to follow the line as best I can, but it's okay if I go off a little bit. Now I have a white paper and a brown paper that are the exact same size and shape. So I need to decide which one is the background for my rug and which one makes up the stripes. So I think I'm going to have the brown paper be my background. So I'm not going to cut this, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to take my white paper and I'm going to cut stripes out of it. And I'm going to try to change it up so I have some thick stripes. So I'm just going to cut straight across. So there's a nice thick stripe. And I have some thin stripes. Maybe some medium stripes. And I need one more over here. Maybe I'll do another thick. Maybe I should space them out a little bit. You can move them around or you can cut some if you want them to be a little skinnier. Oops. Ah, stop that. There we go. Okay, I think I like that. So now I'm going to use some of my brown scraps. I had a little piece left over here. And I'm going to try to make some other stripes that can go on top of the white. So I'm layering. So I want to try different kinds of lines like zigzags or curves or more straight lines. Um, so I'm just going to cut my scrap up into little pieces. They're not all exactly the same. That's okay. And each little piece that I cut up, I'm going to try to make it a new kind of line. So if I want zigzags, I can make this my zigzag one by cutting up nice and straight and down nice and straight and up nice and straight and down nice and straight until I run out of paper to cut. I can try laying that on top of my nice thick line. Or I can try making a curvy line by just cutting in a nice smooth curve. And sometimes I kind of wiggle the paper a little back and forth as I'm cutting, and that helps it stay nice and wiggly. Oops. No, 
Now I'm thinking I probably can't cut a line skinny enough to fit on that, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. And then maybe for this one, ooh, I know, I'm gonna do some um, stripes that are going across like this horizontally. Now you'll notice I haven't glued anything down yet, so I'm being really careful not to jiggle this because I haven't laid out like how I want it. One last thing I'm gonna cut out before I start gluing is the fringe for the sides to make it really look like a rug. So my last step is to take those good old scraps and I'm gonna cut some skinny little rectangles, kind of like these. So here's two, one, Two. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to make kind of a pattern here. Oh, here's a nice big scrap right here. I'm going to have three browns on each side. and two whites on each side. Now the last thing before I start gluing is I'm going to pick up my scraps and if they're really little like this, just recycle them. If it's a nice big scrap that you think you can use later, set it aside and save it with your art supplies. These I could probably collage with later, so I'll put them over here. Okay, and finally make sure you have a placemat or some kind of piece of paper to keep the glue from getting all over your table.
Okay. Once you've got it all glued down, you're going to let it dry. Leave it right where it is. Um, make sure you roll your glue stick down all the way. Put a cap on it nice and tight so it doesn't dry out. Put your scissors away in a safe place. And clean up the rest of your scraps. All right, I hope you guys had fun and I will have a new lesson for you next week.